Hey guys, today's video is just going to be a quick video on how I put the water bottles on our tanks and cages. I know this video is kind of something that everybody has on their channel, but I'm going to go ahead and do one anyways. So, pretty much I use Velcro on all of them. I do use these on the girls' tanks, and it's because my sister happens to like these water bottles. And you can get these at Walmart, and they are super cheap. They're like less than $3.00. And surprisingly, for being at Walmart, you think it'd be a pretty cheap water bottle, but it's actually pretty durable. I mean, it's not like, you know, super strong or anything, but it's a really neat theory that you can be able to just hang it on your tank, which this is something that I think would be really nice if pet stores sold these, because that's definitely kind of nice to be able to just hang them over your tank. For like Minnie's cage, who has an open cage, that would be perfect, but I do personally like the Velcro ones, but these work really well for my sister's cages. I use industrial velcro for my water bottles and I use industrial because it is super strong and it is not just going to fall off in the middle of the night or anything. So definitely go with industrial. This is a pretty big box. I got it at Walmart. I think you can get them at Walmart, Home Depot, craft stores, pretty much anywhere. And I got it, it was about like seven or eight dollars I think. Eight dollars could be a lot of money for velcro but it is a really big box and I bought it because uh, I was doing Minnie's DIY cage at the time and I needed a lot of Velcro so I knew that that box would come in handy and honestly I had a lot left over and I've done several water bottles so I still have plenty left over but I think you might be able to buy them in smaller boxes. But anyways it comes with what I call the female piece and the male piece and I just call them that so it kind of makes it easier to distinguish between the two. I take the male piece, which is the flat piece, and I go ahead, as you can see here, they're already on my water bottles, and I go ahead and keep the males on the water bottles all the time. So even when I'm not using this particular color, the male goes ahead, goes ahead and stays on. And I do the male on this piece because it's rough. It's not going to have everything stick to it. So when they're in the drawer, they're not going to pick up fuzz or hair or anything on them like the fuzzy pieces will. As you can see, they stick to anything. So I just cut a piece about the size you see here to adhere to it and then pull off the back and stick those on and because this water bottle has this little silver flap here and these are the water bottles that I get at PetSmart and I actually love these, they are my favorite kinds. And what I do is I stick a piece going this way along the end of it and I do this because it will keep the gray flap from coming up so that's why I do that. But there are those. Then I just match up the same size about what it'll be, which is about like that much. I'll go ahead and cut that piece. So I'm just going to cut these and then show you how to put them on your tank. Okay, so here is our water bottle holder here with the male pieces already on the back like before. And here are the pieces of the female that we've already cut out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an empty water bottle and place it in here. I do an empty one so you don't have to worry about it dripping all over the place. And then we're going to take it and put it in the cage to get an idea of where we want it before we put the actual Velcro on it. So we're just going to move it about and figure out about the height you want it. It's a whole lot easier if your hamster is out and is messing with it to get an idea. But of course you'll want it lower for a door for taller for a Syrian. And then once you know where you want it, you can go ahead and pull the female pieces off to stick them on. And obviously the female matches up with the male with the sticky side out. And then we're going to line it up and get all the air bubbles out of it. And then after that, we will be able to place it in the cage. Now, another thing you can do is if you know exactly where you want it, you can go ahead and stick the female pieces in the cage where you want it. It'll be a whole lot easier to get them stuck on real good. But of course, if you don't know for sure where you want the water bottle holder at, that'll make it a, a little harder. So here we're just going to stick the other piece on. And now we're going to push it on so it is really good and adhered. And then we can stick it in its cage. And to get an idea of where it is, I don't press it on too hard to the glass yet. I literally just kind of stick it there because if you push it on and then you decide to move it, it'll make it a whole lot harder to get it off the glass. So I just stuck it there to get an idea and then that's where I wanted it. So then I go ahead and can start mashing and pressing it firmly into the glass. I take the bottle out to make that a little easier. But yeah, then I just firmly smash it around and push it into the glass so it's fully adhered. You don't have to worry about it slipping or moving or falling. And then you can go fill your bottle up. And yes, my water bottle magically changed colors. 
and then you can go ahead and place it in your little holder and yeah that's pretty much how you have it so now i'm going to show you guys a glance of it from the back so you can see how it's stuck on and yes the velcro is a little crooked but you get the idea and here is stitch enjoying his water now so yeah there's the video guys thank you so much bye